the standard double graphic head that comes with the machine. Um, you just remove the stop, place it in position and just glide it to the left. That's all that's needed. So any other future heads that are for cutting special purpose materials or processes that come about, we can design a head that can fit on, therefore giving your future proofing. Um, it's economical because um, with these additional processes or materials that come along, you don't have to go out and invest in a new cutter. All you need to do is invest in a, a new cutting head. So um, we also have a creasing head um, for creasing card materials and, and uh, other plastics that can be creased and folded. And we have a rotary cutter head um, which has an uh, adjustable pressure adjustment on the top there um, for cutting fabrics and other thin flimsy materials. Now they all just slide on to the end. Um, you can keep all three on there uh, and use them at will or easily just remove them and keep the cutting head that you're using at any one time on the machine. The rocker head here has the same shape handle as the Simplex. Um, that shape handle has been around for many, many years and is, um, is very well liked by an awful lot of people because it, it is comfortable, it fits the hand. So um, it uses medium duty blade to cut most general purpose materials, banner material, um, PVC, thinner PVC foam board and most other um, lighter weight materials up to 10 mil deep. Now it also cuts ACP. Um, let's clear the decks and I'll show you it cutting. Three millimeter ACP. Place it in the machine up against the material stop, lower, so I can use the palm of my hand to depress the blade holder, my left hand to grip hold of the bar here um, which helps me apply the pressure that you need to cut the ACP. It's a Tech D012 blade um, which is not a um, a standard blade, it's a high quality blade and the advantage with with using this is that we've cut all the way through the material um, a small amount of cleaning up on there um, to remove the sharp edge but um, we're, we're not in the situation where we have to use a knife just to cut the top foil um, and then have the difficulty of trying to bend it um, and snap the core, then moving it multiple times to get through the back foil. I've got a much cleaner edge on here um, and with just a minimum of sanding down the two corners, you've got a perfect finish.